Okay, we are going to replay the 86 World Series, the New York Mets versus the Red Sox. I'm going to try my best to use the actual game starters for each game and lineups as close as I can get them. I will play the Red Sox. The computer will take the 86 Mets. So here we go. So in game one, we've got the Red Sox as the visitors. All right, so we got here. Let's go to our this game. Done. Okay. As you guys can see, we have the um, Red Sox, the visitors, a six. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where you are D. I'll take them. And then we've got them versus the 86 Mets. And then we are M. We'll click C for computer. And we'll see what happens here in game one. Um, since the Mets are home, there will be no DH. some of the stats here. Okay, there we go. So we have, okay, so in that game it was Hurst was their starter. Let's get him in there, Hurst. Was their best pitcher, I guess, for them that year. I don't know. Um, so Hurst is the starter versus um, it is Ron Darling. Okay. Now the lineup that we're using here, that's pretty close to what they would have used. Um, I'm checking baseball, the baseball almanac. So um, since I'm playing them, I can have a little fun here and do some things I want to do. But I don't think I'm going to change it. I just think that they've got the players in there that can play. The only guy I would try to get in there would be the Don Baylor. I'm taking out Bill Buckner. Buckner doesn't strike out. He's the guy. Henderson. I'd like to get Henderson in, but there's nowhere to put him. Evans ain't coming out. Armas could come out. Hmm. Evans isn't coming out. Maybe Armas, let's see. Tony Armas. No, I'm leaving him alone. And that's pretty close to what the... I think Mookie Wilson was their leadoff hitter that year there. He got it leadoff, I think. Switch them to bad in order, I think. I'm pretty sure Wilson batted first. I'm not sure where Dykstra batted. Let's get a look, see if we can find the board up real quick. Um, let's go back to game one. Game one, I think I'm going to use that game as the let's see, Mookie Wilson, Dykstra. This is what they had Wilson. All right, so their lineup was Wilson. It was Dykstra, and it was uh, Hernandez, Carter, Strawberry, uh, Knight, Tuffle, um, and second base. 
Santana with the shortstop. So this would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. That's what they had. All right. So according to this, in 86, it was um, Mookie Wilson batting with Lenny Dykstra uh, batting second. Two. John Chen. Hernandez, Carter, Strawberry. Six, you had Ray Knight. Six and seven. Touch those two guys. You had Santana playing. Tim Tuffle was playing second base for some reason. I don't know why from his hand, but so he was seven. And then replaced with Tim Tuffle. I'm not sure why he was in, but well. And that would have been their lineup they would have used. So pretty close to what they had. Okay. Play some ball. All right, top of inning one, Wade Fox lead off. Let's see what they got. Yeah, fastball. How about fastball? How about fastball? One, two, three. Inning. Top of the second. There we go. Dwight Evans. Walks. Tony Armas. Double play. Nice job. Jerk. Oh no, Mets are threatening already. That'll get him in. Tim Tuffle. Mets are up, one nothing. Third inning. Let's see what we got here. Darling. But a fastball. Mookie Wilson. Fastball. Lenny Dykstra. Gary Carter goes down. Dale Strawberry goes down. Ray Knight goes down. Tony Armas, come on, give me something. Gives me nothing. Rich Gedman. Nothing. <laughs> he didn't give me nothing. Red Sox in trouble. Fifth inning. One nothing. Hmm. Fastball. Nothing. Nothing. Darling. Nothing. First. Boggs. Come on, Bill Buckner. Bases are loaded. Rice. <laughs> there goes McDowell. Oh, ho, ho, the Red Sox come back and score two in the sixth. Tony Armas. 
Comes through with RBI. Oh, they got him. 3-1. We got to run now. Red Sox come back. Wilson. Mookie Wilson. Best ball. Lonnie Dykstra. Out by a step. Keith Hernandez. I'll probably go for this hit. Maybe that figure. Gary Carter. He's out. Mets are in trouble again. Lee Buckner. Nothing. Let's go down in order in the seventh. Top of the eighth, Jim Rice. Dwight Evans gets on. Red Sox holding a three to one lead, the bottom of the eighth. Mets got two innings to try to clamp down here. Lee Mazzilli comes in. He goes down. Mookie Wilson. Gets on base. Dijkstra. Oh boy, we are going down to the wire. Bruce Hurst. I'm going to let him stay in because uh, he's got on base twice already. Not that time. Boggs. Buckner again. Uh, we are going down to the bottom of the ninth inning. Here we go. Mets down by two runs. The heart of their order coming up. Keith Hernandez. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Is it going to happen? Tying run. The, the, well, tying run is at home plate. Oh my god. <laughs> Mets are coming back. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Oh, when art imitates life. Here we go. Ray Knight. Mm. It all comes down to Tim Tuffle. Bottom of the ninth inning. Doesn't happen. Red Sox hold on. 3 2. Let's look at some of the stats here. We got uh, Wade Boggs. Uh, Looks like Jim Rice was the MVP of this game. Oops. Off of that. Strawberry had two hits. Not Bruce Hurst, man. He had he pitched a gem. Hurst with a complete game shutout. Well, not shutout, but he shut him down. Hurst. Nine innings pitched. Four hits. Two runs. Nine strikeouts. Wow. Darling, uh, he pitched okay. It's not good enough to get the win. That, folks, will do it for game one. Red Sox win 3-2. Uh, Bruce Hurst, had he pitched a gem for him. See ya.